AITA for telling my DIL she wasn't invited since she is an embarrassment at dinners since she is a picky eater. My son is on my ass so I am writing here for different opinions. My son has been married for two years at this point. We get along as well as water and oil. I just keep my distance because I don't like dealing with her. She is a horrible picky eater, I don't know why but truly I don't care because she is a pain at restaurants. We try to go anywhere and we have to change places multiple times so she can have something to eat. She makes the waiters go through hoops so she will have something she likes and if anything is wrong she will bitch about it or pout in the corner. Example, she got a quesadilla, removed everything on it, and when it came out she sent it back because there was sour cream on the side, it wasn't touching anything and she made a huge deal about her food being wrong. She doesn't have allergies either. What really made me dislike her is that she complained about the food at a funeral, they had a sandwich spread but went on about it's gross multiple times. So I had a dinner yesterday and I invited everyone but my son's wife, son wasn't invited either but he was on a business trip. My other DIL posted it online and I got a call from DIL. She was pissed I didn't invite her and asked why, I told her it was due to her being an embarrassment at dinners and I won't be inviting her to dinners. She called me a jerk and hung up. Now my son is on my ass and I am wondering if I should apologize or not. Edit, I'm going to say it, it doesn't matter if she has an eating disorder or is on the spectrum. Both those groups know how to act at a funeral or restaurant. It may be harder but they can. Edit 2. So to make it clearer, I have three DILs and one SIL, and we all have a good relationship besides this one DIL, three quarters, it's not me that's the issue here. They don't like her either. Also, I find the threat of I better bend down to her or I won't see her kids such a stupid threat. I'm already a grandma and if she withholds her kids then that's on them and would be depriving the kids of grandparents on my son's side.